Okay, so the first thing that we got to do is we've got to go into our planar mapping and into the options. And we've got to make sure that best plane is selected and keep image width height ratio is also selected. It makes it far easier to unwrap an object when you're using options like these. Okay. Now we can close that. If we look at our texture editor, so if we go to the polygons shelf and down to the very last T, the very last icon on that there shelf, we can see that Maya's tried to actually unwrap it automatically and it's made a terrible, terrible attempt at it. Especially if you look inside the drawers. So if we select the face inside the drawer, we can see in our texture editor that it's completely flat, which means that it's just going to take that row of pixels and it's just going to stretch them along that polygon. I think the best place to start off is we'll get the big chunks out, so out of the way first. We'll get the side, the back, the other side, the top, the bottom, and the front done first. And then we'll start with all the smaller elements at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the faces that I can see here on the side. Okay, I probably can see that there one on that side drawer too. And I'm just going to go create UVs, planar mapping. And you can see now in the UV texture editor it's kind of made the same layout as we have in our 3D view. I'm just going to click and move that part of the way and I'll do the other side. So exactly the same. Select all the polygons, create UVs, planar mapping and I'll move it over to the side again. I'll do the back next. So the back, exactly the same. I'm just going to be doing pra practically the same thing for each one. Holding down shift, selecting all these polygons, create UVs, planar mapping. Go to the front, select all the ones that I can see in the front. I always go around and check as well just to make sure I've selected all the right ones and there isn't any loose polygons that I've selected by mistake. Yeah, it seems okay. Create UVs, planar mapping. There we go. And now I'll do the top and the bottom. On the top, I can actually see these here polygons too, so I'm going to select them with it. I'm not going to do the inside of the drawer. I'm going to leave that until the end. So again, create UVs, plane our mapping. And I'll do the bottom. Great UVs, planar mapping, move it out of the way. Okay, so that's all our main bits done. And we can see that in this shaded area we still have a few UVs that haven't been unwrapped properly. And in reality I know which ones these are. It's the ones inside the drawer, and it's the top and bottom of this panel and it's also the bottom of this panel as well. I'm going to tackle this here one first. Just going to go around and select all the polygons. <coughs> Create UVs, not cylindrical. Planar mapping. Move that out of the way. And now I'll do the inside. Grab those. Great views. Planar mapping. Move them out of the way. I'm going to have to do these all individually. Great views. Planar mapping. Okay. 
Mercury Bees, playing our mop in. It's important as well in the UV tag shredder that you don't have any of the UVs overlapping each other. It'll make it a lot easier. If you do, like say if I have this and I deselect it and I find that it's overlapping, just press Z and you can move it over until you find a place where it's not overlapping with another UV. And the last one is right underneath here. Great bees, planar mapping. Okay, so that's my whole object now completely unwrapped. It's a bit more complex than the barrel that we done earlier last week. But if you do it this way, you'll get a better grade and your model will look a lot nicer as well.